Welcome to Earth Archives. Many of my friends have come into contact with pirates through movies or animations, but have you ever thought about why they are all men? In fact, there have been female pirates in history. For example, Anne Bonny, whom we are going to talk about today, is not inferior to male pirates at all. Before the show starts, please subscribe, like, and turn on the little bell. If possible, leave your thoughts. This will help the growth of the show. Without further ado, let's officially start. Anne Bonny, one of the most famous female pirates in history, was the daughter of a plantation owner. Bonny's birth date is unknown. Likely between the years 1670 and 1700, she was said to be born in Old Head of Kinsale, in County Cork, Ireland. She was the daughter of a servant woman, Mary Brennan, and Brennan's employer, the lawyer William Cormick. Cormick's wife had become ill and was moved to her mother-in-law's home a few miles away to be cared for. Whilst Cormick's wife was away, he began an affair with Mary Brennan, who as a consequence gave birth to a daughter, Anne. Although Anne was therefore illegitimate, Cormick presented her as his legitimate daughter. Official records and contemporary letters dealing with her life are scarce, and most modern knowledge stems from Charles Johnson's A General History of the Pirates, a collection of pirate biographies. The first edition partly accurate, the second much embellished. William Cormick first moved to London to get away from his wife's family and he began dressing Anne as a boy and calling her, Andy. When Cormick's wife discovered William had taken in his illegitimate daughter and was bringing the child up to be a lawyer's clerk, and dressing her as a boy, she stopped giving him an allowance. Cormick then moved to the province of Carolina, taking along Anne and her mother Mary Brennan. At first, the family had a rough start in their new home. Cormick attempted to establish himself as a lawyer in Charlestown but did not do well. However, his knowledge of the law and ability to buy and sell goods soon financed a townhouse and eventually a plantation just outside the town. Bonnie's mother died when Anne was young. It is recorded that Bonnie was considered a good catch, but may have had a fiery temper. She supposedly stabbed a servant girl with a knife. She married a poor sailor and small-time pirate named James Bonnie. James hoped to win possession of his father-in-law's estate, but Bonnie was disowned by her father. Anne's father did not approve of James Bonney as a husband for his daughter, and he threw Anne out of his house. Anne Bonney has red hair and is very beautiful, but has a very violent personality. When Anne Bonney was 13 years old, she stabbed a servant girl in the stomach with a table knife and stabbed many suitors surrounding her with sharp swords. She later married James Burney, a sailor who briefly served as a pirate. According to legend, James Burney married Anne to acquire the real estate owned by her father, but she later disowned him. There is no evidence that Anne Bonny set fire to the countryside in retaliation for her father. She and James later moved to Nassau or New Providence in the Bahamas between 1714 and 1718, which was a pirate gathering place and the center of operations for many pirates. After the ruler Woods Rogers arrived here in the summer of 1718, James also became his intelligence provider. During this period in the Bahamas, James became a civil servant, while Anne Bonny had close contact with local pirates and met and worked with pirate John Rackham. While Jack Rackham and other pirates were enjoying the immunity provided by the king on New Providence Island, James forced Anne to return to him to prevent her from being whipped for her liaison. Jack Rackham offers to buy Anne Bonny, but she refuses to be bought and sold like a castle. Anne Bonny was sentenced to be whipped, but she later avoided punishment by becoming a pirate with Jack Rackham. While in the Bahamas, Bonnie began mingling with pirates in the taverns. She met John, Calico Jack, Rackham, and he became her lover. Rackham subsequently offered money to her husband James if he would divorce her, but her husband refused and threatened to beat Rackham. She and Rackham escaped the island together, and she became a member of his crew. She disguised herself as a man on the ship, and only Rackham and Mary Reed were aware that she was a woman until it became clear that she was pregnant. Rackham then landed her in Cuba where she gave birth to a son. She then rejoined Rackham and continued the pirate life, having divorced her husband and married Rackham while at sea. Citation needed, Bonnie, Rackham, and Red stole the ship William, then at anchor in Nassau Harbour, and put out to sea. Rackham and the two women recruited a new crew. Their crew spent years in Jamaica and the surrounding area. Bonnie took part in combat alongside the men, and Governor Rogers named her in a Wanted Pirates circular published in the Boston Newsletter. When Bonnie told Reed that she was a woman because she was attracted to her, Reed revealed that she too was a woman. To abate the jealousy of Rackham, who suspected romantic involvement between the two, Bonnie told him that Reed was a woman. 
speculation over the relationship between Bonnie and Reed led to images depicting the two in battle together. A victim of the pirates, Dorothy Thomas, left a description of Reed and Bonnie. They wore men's jackets and long trousers and handkerchiefs tied about their heads. And each of them had a machete and pistol in their hands and they cursed and swore at the men to murder her, Dorothy Thomas. Thomas also recorded that she knew that they were women, from the largeness of their breasts. Although Anne Bonny was one of the most famous pirates in history, she never owned a ship of her own. Her reputation is due to her being a rare female pirate in history. In October 1720, Rackham and his crew were attacked by a sloop captained by Jonathan Barnett under a commission from Nicholas Laws, governor of Jamaica. Most of Rackham's pirates put up little resistance, as many of them were too drunk to fight. They were taken to Jamaica where they were convicted and sentenced by Governor Laws to be hanged. When Anne Bonny was being tried in Jamaica, many of the gentlemen planters of Jamaica knew Anne Bonny's father and had dealt with him before. Therefore, it was assumed that Bonny might receive favour in her trial. However, her action of leaving was a harrowing circumstance against her that was one of the reasons that ultimately led to her imprisonment. Reed and Bonnie both pleaded their bellies, asking for mercy because they were pregnant, and the court granted them a stay of execution until they gave birth. Reed died in prison, most likely from a fever from childbirth. A ledger from a church in Jamaica lists her burial on 28 April 1721, Mary Reed, pirate. There is no record showing whether Anne Bonnie was released or executed in the end. Legend has it that this was because her father paid a ransom to protect her. It is also possible that she returned to her husband after all, or even took on a new identity. The idea of appearing and continuing a pirate career has appeared in history. However, the Dictionary of British National Biography states, Anne Bonny's descendants provided evidence that her father bailed her out of prison and took her back to Charles Town, where she later gave birth to Jack Ray, Kim's second child. Anne Burley married a local man, Joseph Burley, on December 21, 1721, and later gave birth to eight children. She died in Southern California at the age of 82 and was buried on April 25, 1782. The reason why Anne Bonny really attracted the attention of European society was the romantic affair between Anne, Mary and Jack. It is said that after Mary Reed's female companion disguised herself as a man and got mixed up on the pirate ship, Anne Bonny had a crush on her. As a result, Anne when he discovered that he had been deceived and was about to kill Mary, he was stopped by Jack. Later, they became Jack's lovers. It is said that Anne Bonny would expose her breasts before killing someone to let the other person know that she was killed by a woman to humiliate their self-esteem. Most of what we know about Anne Bonny comes from Captain Charles Johnson's A General History of the Pirates. Official records of her and contemporary documents are scarce. Most details about Anne Bonny's life before arriving in the Bahamas are not supported by any preliminary evidence including claims that she was born in County Cork, Ireland, in 1702, that she was the daughter of lawyer William Cormick and his maid, and that her mother's name was for Mary Brennan, the grandmother was named Peg. When it became public that Anne Bonny became a pirate, Cormick moved to Charleston, South Carolina, in the United States, where he bought large tracts of land. These rumours cannot be confirmed. For these unverifiable rumours, historians continue to work hard to find evidence.